What's good everybody, it's your girl, the princess of the tribe, and I'm here with that review that I promised you. It took me a little while to get back on here, but I'm back and I'm stronger than ever with lighting. I have, I had to figure out my lighting situation. I feel like this is a much better deal. Let me, got, let me guys, you guys let me know uh, what you think of the lighting, how everything sounds, and all of that good stuff in the comments because I listen to you guys comments and I put um your opinions and all of that into practice so and also thank you and to the new subscribers welcome I hope you guys stay and enjoy and you know you grow with me so here we go let's do it um Basquiat Dempsey 40 um or coach x Jean-Michel Basquiat um Dempsey 40 as you guys can see, this is not a part of the bag. I actually ordered this off of Amazon. I ordered it for another bag. That bag hasn't come yet. That bag comes tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> that bag comes tomorrow. And when it does come, I'll, I want to do a review and I'll let you guys know what that is. So nice. Anyway, um, but I added it on to here just to see like how it works, how it looks. And I love it. And I think I'm going to keep it on here. Now, the only qualm I have with this um, chunky, fabulous chain. I love this. I love this. The only qualm that I have with it is the. it's like a brushed gold. Like, it's more, it's more, it resembles the gold that's on the boutique bags. Not the um the outlet bags this is an outlet bag and the outlet bag has more of a shiny gold kind of look this is more like a brushed gold a bronze gold type of look so that's the only qualm that i have um with the chain but the chain itself is is beautiful it's immaculate it's heavy it's nice um but yeah, I added it and I was like, yo, that looks so nice. It just turns up the bag. It's like, it's lit, yo. So, oh yeah, this bag actually has like these peekaboo straps um, handles and you can put them, you can stick them inside and you wouldn't know that they were there. So you can really do your own thing and kind of put, you know, your own straps on it. not sure how sturdy this chain is or if I would carry it like that all the time I would probably make sure that there was like little to nothing in here because I don't want to mess it up but still still a beautiful beautiful addition to the bag even if it just hangs there so I was thinking about just getting one of the shiny gold uh chains instead um if I don't ever get that I won't be mad it's still beautiful I would still wear it um the first, this is actually the second bag that I got. Um, this exact bag, I had to get it replaced because the first bag on the side here, like in the corner, one of these corners, it was like some quality control issues. Like whoever, you know, had sewn the bag. I'm a designer, so I work a lot with sewing machines and all that, you know, all that good stuff. So I know everything, you know, I like I know you're not getting no quality. Um, um issues past me so i looked and i noticed that one of these um corners was a little bit um it was just not executed well you could tell that someone had messed up a little bit and um they had messed up a little bit and um the corner it was like gathered and it was too close to the edge of the fabric. So let's say six months down the line. Ah! All right. So let's say six months down the line, that little piece of leather Yo, this is not okay. Yeah, you gotta go. Okay. 
let's say six months <laughs> let's say six months down the line that little piece of leather slips out of that seam I'm gonna have an exposed bag that either I'm gonna have to deal with and fix myself or I'm gonna have to send back to coach to repair a lot of times coach doesn't even want to repair they don't even consider certain bags up for repair because it would cost more to repair it than to um, than to give you a new one fine but is this collection gonna be here six months from now are you guys gonna keep a basket a basket Dempsey 40 for me in the tuck so that when the bag that y'all sent out um, gets messed up I have uh, a mint condition replacement I don't think so so <laughs> I called around at the time they were actually all sold out online so I went to the outlet in New Jersey with my mom of course and um I just on a whim took this bag with me it still had the tags on I hadn't even worn it yet because I was still trying to figure out like what am I gonna do so I took it with me in the car I walked into the store as soon as I went into the store I saw like a few of these big bags in the front I ran to the car grabbed the bag exchanged it and now I have my perfect Basquiat Dempsey 40 also when I first got the other bag in the mail I did the unboxing there was like some some residue here on the bottom of the the, uh, the, the Pez dispenser that also kind of bothered me I'm like I gotta wipe this off and 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 risk messing up the, the the Pez dispenser, so I really didn't like that. Speaking of Pez dispenser, this is probably the only thing that I don't like about the bag. The way that they applied this Pez dispenser, not the way that they applied it, but the actual, like, okay, so at the top here, the crown is embroidered. That's embroidery. I really, really like the way that looks. I think that if they would have added more of the embroidery detail to the actual figure, I would have loved it. You know, even some eyes, some some dragon, um, you know, some dinosaur scales on the back, the, the red a circle in the middle, and then like maybe a border. I would have loved that, but they did not. It's just some type of applique, and I don't I don't like that because I feel like it lowers the the value of the bag if they would have embroidered more of the pez dispenser it would have been so nice like that would have been a really really beautiful bag you know what i'm saying and i would have like i mean i cherish it already but this is giving cheap you know what i mean like i don't know what to tell you but that's just what it is to me um and it's just not pop and it's not shiny or anything like y'all could have made this like glossy y'all could have you know what I'm saying? If y'all were just going to use an applique. So, and then on top of that, this little glitter, there's like some glitter detail um, right here at the trim of the, of the head and the arms. You could have, you could have embroidered glitter thread, gold thread. That would have been really, really nice. So I really don't understand who decided on this design um, for this bag. Honestly, that's the only issue that I have with the bag. And then, of course, aside from the quality control of the other bag, um, I do have some little flyaways here, like, in, of the thread, and just, like, random places around the bag, different little flyaways and stuff like that. So, hopefully, see, like, here's... There's something there. You know, hopefully that doesn't prove to be an issue. Um, here we have some... What is this like some type of snake skin or croc skin faux faux something? I'll look it up in the details and I'll include it um in there. Here's the back of the bag. Here's the front of the bag. I love this bag. I went out, I was walking, I was on um I was at Fabric Row in Philly, um, getting some fabric for one of my clients, and there's this guy, he's walking with his dog with his wife, and he's like staring at me. I thought he was staring at my butt, and I'm like <gasps> You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, with your wife right there, have you no shame? And then he was like, that lady has like a coach bag with Basquiat on it. And like, what do you know about Basquiat? But I'm like, oh yeah, he wasn't looking at my butt. But, I, you know, it's definitely gathering some attention. 
you know so that's what i like about it i really like that he was he seemed shocked i don't know if it was a good shock or a bad it was but you know because these bags are very controversial you know the fact that um the type of artist that basquiat was a lot of people don't believe that he would have supported this collaboration or he would have even done it himself but we don't know we never know basquiat is not alive had he been alive he might have been all about the bag at this point you know what i'm saying like you don't know so I just appreciate it for what it is. That's why I got it. Even though I didn't really like the application of the Pez dispenser and, and the, the medium that they used to, to execute it, it's more of a cultural um, statement. It's more of a cultural um, statement piece for me. And that's why I had to have it. Um, let's look on the inside. So on the inside... Oh, I have my um, bag organizer in here. Let me just take that out. This is the bag organizer in size extra large. I got this on Amazon. I got the green. Um, I just like it. I love, um, I really like, uh, what is it called? The emerald green, you know, that type of color. Anyway, y'all, check out, we'll get into this in a second. Check out this interior. Y'all, this interior is like chocolate brown. It's like my skin color. It's so beautiful. I love this interior. Like, I'm so glad that they chose this color for the interior. I'm trying to tell you. Everything else I could buy about the bag I like. Anyway, so they have this leather trim here. It has two zip pockets. Um, bag patch, of course. And this bag patch is like indicative of its Basquiat uh, status. So it says, this is a coach bag featuring the artwork, featuring artwork by the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat, crafted to last. It combines our heritage of craftsmanship with Basquiat's vision of color and self-expression. Beautiful. Um, then there's another zip pocket as well. And then on top of that zip pocket, there is two pockets sewn that you could just slide something into. No zip on that. And then there's like a little pen pocket as well. Um, we have our bag tag. I pinched these so that way it ain't going nowhere because <laughs> I don't have time. Um, <laughs> then I bought this change purse for the bag as well i was really like tossing and turning and hemming and hawing about like what type of what type of um accessory i would get for this bag i didn't know what i wanted but i there's this girl i follow on instagram and she's always put she she has so many coach bags y'all she i don't know if she works for coach or what but this this woman has like tons and tons of coach bags and she even had this and i was like yes girl but what accessories do we get with it and she was like get the change purse and i was like done so um i got this change purse for the bag got my change in it it's tiny there's another bag patch in it and it says the same exact thing that this bag patch says on it um i like it like it yeah, at first I didn't like it because it was a little bit wobbly. Like it was, it was like a little bit bumpy. It wasn't like, I felt like they should have put some padding or something in it. But I think that it just had to relax out of the packaging and stuff like that. And now it's fabulous. And there's like a little tiny, tiny hang tag on it. That looks like it's about to let this little tag go. Tiny hang tag that says coach on it. I'm going to close this because like there's like a little space and like slip through so i'm gonna close that there's like a key ring on it and then the hook and i just hook it right here onto this hardware piece next to the tag because i don't want it to put it right here and i don't want to put it in the back so this is the best place um and then there's like leather trim at the bottom of it i like to use this for the for, for work if i if i'm doing like um a project and i have to go to the thrift store that's what that's what I want to do for this bag. That's when, I, that's when I want to wear this bag is when I'm working with it. Um, because it's so big. I know I can fit like 
a nice amount of fabric in it without having to carry the plastic bags from the store and that kind of thing. I could just throw the fabric and the notions and everything that I need in here, you know, books and everything. So that's what I like about it. Um, but I would suggest if you are going to use it for a work bag, take care of it because like I said, who knows when this, when this, uh, collection, if this collection will ever come out, this bag could be worth a lot in the future so you know you definitely want to um just take care of it you know and and even me i'm thinking like okay i want to use it as a work bag but should i you know what i mean because like i want to take care of it and i know if i use it as a work bag it might feel a little beat up i want to be able to you know be like i have like a mint condition basquiat you know what i mean bag um from coach from 30 years ago you know i want to be able to say that so Still something I'm kind of thinking about, especially I don't know. I wore it the other day and it's just so nice. Anyway, put this. Um, also the um, the uh, bag organizer helps to maintain its shape. And if you putting if you're putting things in here like MacBooks and books and textbooks or whatever the case may be, you definitely want to have a bag dispenser so that bottom doesn't drop out and um and your your structure doesn't get messed up from the heavy items that you're putting in. It also, last but not least, come with, comes with a strap. And this is another thing that I really, really like about it. Um, if I didn't have this chain on it, I would definitely carry like this. I think it's, it adds something to it. Um, I'm definitely planning on carrying crossbody, you know, these fall days coming up, you know what I'm saying, running into the store. I just think it look, it'll look so cute, you know, a black bomber jacket, you know what I'm saying, or even like a dark trench, um, you know, dark uh, colors and with this crossed around me, just focus. I just see myself walking and it's and it's maybe a little damp but not raining, you know, overcast sky, midday, maybe 4 p.m. And I just see myself walking with the bag cross by. So hopefully we're going to manifest that, that scene. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is my bag review. That is my bag review. That is my bag review. I hope you guys enjoyed this bag review. As much as I enjoyed creating it, I'm so glad that I'm back and able to talk to y'all. Um, because my production value has increased. I got a ring light. Let's just say that. I got a ring light. <laughs> um, and I learned how to use it to wear it. So I, honestly, I didn't want to get a ring light at first because I feel like when the ring light's directly in your face, like it's very harsh. And I was like, I don't know if I want that. So... I got a ring light. I learned how to position it. It's just like any lighting in any photo shoot. I've done a few photo shoots in my day. So, you know, it's not always what you think it is when it comes to the lighting. You have to play with it. You have to turn lighting in places that you would never even expect it to have an impact. And that's when the magic happens. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm so happy to be on YouTube, honestly, because it's just... I don't know, it just adds like something to my life that I feel like has definitely been missing. Anyway, um, I love you, like I said, and um, welcome to my tribe. It's the princess. <laughs>